Clarence Thomas as ministers the oath of office to the Vice President of the United States. Vice President-elect, would you raise your right hand and repeat after me? I, Michael Richard Pence, do solemnly swear. I, Michael Richard Pence, do solemnly swear. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I take this obligation freely. That I take this obligation freely. Without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. Without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. And that I will well and faithfully discharge. And that I will well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office on which I'm about to enter. The duties of the office on which I am about to enter. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Mormon Tabernacle Choir, accompanied by the President's own United States Marine Band.
introduce the Chief Justice of the United States, John G. Roberts, Jr., who will administer the presidential oath of office. Everyone, please stand. <clears throat> Please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, Donald John Trump, do solemnly swear. I, Donald John Trump, do solemnly swear. That I will faithfully execute. That I will faithfully execute. The office of President of the United States. The office of President of the United States. And will, to the best of my ability, and will, to the best of my ability, preserve, protect, and defend Preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations, Mr. President. Well, there you got it. He is the official President of the United States. And he's probably going to have to go back to his hotel and collapse after all this pressure and craziness he's been dealing with for the last several months. Uh, what a wild ride this is going to be. You know what? I, I think he's got what it takes. I think he'll hold it together. Personally. I mean, like I said, at the end of the day, he is the president of the United States. And it's our duty to respect and support him. All those naysayers out there, they just can't stand him. I mean, I don't think he's such a bad guy. 